Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah al -Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at the Dhabiya Palace His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in which they reviewed topics related to local issues and common interests. He affirmed that the next stage requires more efforts and work for the advancement of Bahrain and the preservation and development of national achievements. His Majesty directed to establish controls and procedures to rationalize public spending based on consensus between the executive and legislative branches, considering the the benefit of the country and citizens, especially those with middle and low incomes. He also directed to diversify the national economy by supporting current sectors and creating new economical sectors and for the Office of Financial and Administrative Control to follow these guidelines. The King praised the efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in enhancing the work of the government and the adoption of initiatives and programs that support economic development plans that serve Bahrain and its people. His Majesty expressed pride and appreciation in Bahraini citizens' devotion and dedication as well as their constant support of the development march in all fields. The King instructed to work on citizens' issues and meeting their needs and requirements as well as the advancement of government services level and provide better ways of living for Bahrainis. Then the Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa presented His Majesty with an invitation to his son, Sir Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa's wedding. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued today Edict Number 3 of 2017 on the conditions and regulations to grant the Bahraini citizenship to foreign ships. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications may not grant the Bahraini citizenship to foreign ships owned by individuals or foreign companies from countries that do not have diplomatic relations or do not have friendly relations with Bahrain or with one of the Arab countries unless it is approved by the Cabinet. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was thanked by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Al Jodir, for His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's generous grant to establish Muharraq Youth Center, which was inaugurated under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. Al Jodir said that His Majesty the King considers the youth generations a priority in his reform project which was reflected in their scientific, cultural and athletics achievements. He noted that the infrastructure was designed to embrace the youth by providing different facilities for them. He added that the Muharraq Youth Center is an example of His Majesty's care for youth and sports, where he directed to build other youth centers throughout the kingdom. El Joder highlighted the development of these institutions, as well as the establishment of sports cities, halls, courts and clubs, which reflect His Majesty's keen interest in youth and sport. The minister affirmed that the government managed under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to translate the Royal Directives through the government's work plan which included the establishment of four model youth centres in the Kingdom's governorates. He added that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's keenness on supporting the Bahraini youth movement is reflected by His Highness's laying the foundation stone of Muharraq Youth Centre. Center. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of West Asian Athletics Federation and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his appreciation and gratitude to the Gulf University's initiative of granting athletic star Ali Khamis with a bachelor's scholarship for his athletic excellence, reflected in the outstanding performance he delivered at the Olympics hosted in the Brazilian city Rio de Janeiro, where he achieved the sixth position in the 400 meter steeples chase race. His Highness stressed that this step reflects the efforts of the university's board, headed by Dr. Mohamed El Meshadani, in supporting Bahraini's youth and sports sector by granting distinguished athletes with scholarships that raises their academic achievements and contributes to forming a base composed of athletes who have a track record with honorable results along with knowledge. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that a successful athlete who possesses academic 
qualifications can deliver a better contribution to the development of the youth and sports movement, thereby achieving the aspirations of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, fulfilling the vision and directives of His Majesty's interest in the academic advancement of Bahraini sports. His Highness also said that the Gulf University is one of the prominent scientific institutes for academic education in Bahrain, which produces graduates who possess high educational qualifications, making them able to contribute to the comprehensive development of the ministry and the institutions of the kingdom. He added that they also contribute to the private sector's development, which reflects on the prosperity and progress of our dear country. Sheikh Khalid praised the initiative and wished the university more success in introducing more supportive scientific initiatives to the sports movements in Bahrain. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council approved two draft laws regarding the agreement between Bahrain and Russia on the transfer of convicts and another agreement between Bahrain and India regarding the same matter. The meeting also approved a draft law on joining the Arab Convention to combat money, laundering, laundering and terrorist financing agreements. The Council approved a draft law on encouraging and protecting investment between Bahrain and Bangladesh and another draft draft law between Bahrain and Tunisia regarding air transport agreements. The meeting then approved a draft law regarding issuing public health law. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdel Hussein Mirza, patronized today the inauguration of Solar One Factory, which is the first manufacturer of solar panels in the kingdom. Mirza gave a speech in which he commended the launch of the factory, which marks the shift towards investment in the renewable energy sector in Bahrain. He added that the factory is a distinctive initiative that supports the government's policy to encourage investment in solar energy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa stated that the cabinet approved adopting the national plan to raise energy efficiency and the national plan for renewable energy which aimed to rely on renewable energy to account for 6% of Bahrain's energy sources by 2025. Mirza said that laying out plans and goals will help the kingdom achieve the goals of sustainable development and will help attract new international investment. He added that having such plans will diversify the energy sources of Bahrain, which will attract new technologies that will help diversify the national economy. The factory's chairman of the board of directors, Abdullah Khalifa, thanked the government for its support to industries that are concerned with solar energy. The general manager of Solar One, Rami Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he said that the factory is a Bahraini investment and is being managed by Bahrainis. He added that it will have an initial production capacity of up to 60,000 solar panels a year, which is sufficient to generate 15 megawatts of electricity, noting that it will provide 50 job opportunities for Bahrainis. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs and the officials at the Sustainable Energy Unit. The ceremony was attended by a number of ambassadors headed by the UN Development Programme resident representative in Bahrain, Amina Shargawi, as well as a number of CEOs and specialists. Based on the directives of the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, BIPA, has launched the National Programme for the Development of Government Leaders within the Institute's 2017 Training Plan. The programme is considered a summary of the experiences and compar comparisons with the best training practices in the public administration field in order to train government leaders capable of achieving the aspirations of the government and the citizens. The President of the Civil Service Bureau, the CSB Board Chairman of Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, BIPA, Ahmed bin Zayed Al Zaid, said that the government seeks to enhance the employees and enable them to achieve the objectives and implement the strategic vision of the country. He also added that this program will achieve a quantum leap in developing governmental work, which will increase the work performance. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain oil shares index closed today at 1,259.55 points, marking an increase of 19.81 points above the previous closing. 
The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks sector, representing 86% of the total value of traded shares. 150 equity transactions took place with a volume of 8,388,630 shares worth 1,288,084 Bahraini dinars. An agreement was signed between the government of Bahrain and that of the United States to improve international tax compliance and implement the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. The agreement was signed by the Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and U.S. Ambassador William Roebuck. It comes within the strong cooperation between the two parties with regard to enforcing tax compliance and on the financial and economic levels as a whole. The agreement applies to U.S. citizens only and will be submitted to the legislative authority for approval according to standard procedures. Tamkeen has signed a memorandum of understanding with Entrepreneurs' Organization for the Accelerator Program to expand businesses in Bahrain by offering a systematic package of advisory services that suit the requirements of Bahraini entrepreneurs to reach a turnover of more than $1 million within three years. The agreement was part of Temkin's effort to continuously support the economic development in Bahrain through several programs which include supporting Bahraini entrepreneurs to develop their businesses, development and promotion of entrepreneurial environment. This newly developed program has been tested and applied in a number of countries which resulted in a great success for businesses that needed non-financial support to expand.